So the talents and legendaries I'm going to use them for the enhancement challenge are Landslide, just because it's going to increase my DPS overall. Rainfall, just for the fact it's going to heal me. And I'm going to, I'm going to be using Pride as. So I want to be healing on top of having that shield. So I'm just going to be standing inside my Rainfall all the time. Lightning Surge Totem, just so I can stun Sigrin, which is going to be my main target. And when she casts Blood of the Father, I'm just going to put down Incap Totem. And I'm just going to stun her and make sure she doesn't get the cast off. And then rape her. Then Ancestral Swiftness, just for the fact that it just gives me more damage, more haste. Then Tempest, because Stormbringer increases the critical strike chance of your next Storm Strike by 40%. So yeah, big damage. And Crushing Storm, just for the fact that I'm going to be using Crash Lightning a lot to heal the targets. And a lot of my traits have the Crash Lightning. One thing I've done as well is get, getting the Silithus traits, just for the fact that increases your DPS so much. And Ascendance, just for the fact that I'm going to be popping cooldowns after the first... Blood of the Father, which I'd advise as well. So before the first Blood of the Father, just chill out, don't pop anything. Then when the first Blood comes in, just fucking rape the bosses. Just obviously use light cooldowns at the start. And one thing you got to watch out for as well is, um, as enhance you're pretty squishy, and Yava Brand does his um, his Berserker's Rage, where he speeds up and deals massive melee damage. You just want to watch out for that. Put down your Earth point to him. I just don't let him touch you. But you want to try and stack them up all the time and just, you know, do, do big damage. I'm going to pop Lust on for pull just for the fact that I have the helmet which makes Brothers last about like two minutes or so so we can do big damage out. But yeah. So I'm going to pop Brothers, Wolves, Trinket and deal big damage now to all of them. Put down my healing deal big damage out, deal big damage to all of them, deal big damage to all of them, stay in my healing rain, deal, deal big damage out, keep using crash lightning on cooldown, because that's going to hit them really really hard, so crash lightning and Yolva Brand might do his berserker's rage now, okay so I'm going to slow him and use my spirit walker's grace just so I can you know, deal big damage to all of them, I'm just going to run away, don't let him hit me, Berserker's Rage, just run away from him. Use Astral Shift now just if I need to. Make sure I survive. Soak these quickly. Okay, so it's ended, so now I'm just going to focus. And she should be doing Blood of the Father soon on the next runes. So on the next rune, she should be doing it. So she'll be doing it now. Now, so I'm going to stun her. Soak this last. And this is where I'm going to pop cooldowns now as well. Pop cooldowns and big DPS on all of them. Oh, one of the runes popped. Fuck me sideways, dude. Fuck! So the tactic I'm going to be using for the Enhancement Mage Tower is... Um, I'm going to be f f cleaving down all of them, so not going to hex Sigrin. I'm just going to keep them all up and stun her when she casts Blood of the Father. Um, another thing I've got to watch out for is when Yalva Brand casts his Berserker's Rage. I want to put down my totem so I can slow him. And yeah, I'm going to put all my cooldowns on pull, do really big damage to the boss, uh, make sure I stun her when she does uh, Berserkers, and yeah, just going to deal really big damage out. I'm going to use all my cooldowns on pull, everything, and yeah, just make sure I'm stunning her and soaking the runes in the middle. So I'm going to pop. Put my cooldowns, lust, everything. Big damage out onto all of them. Big damage, big damage, big damage. Big damage, big damage, big damage, big damage, big damage. Big, big, big damage onto the, all of them. Just make sure they're taking it. And I'm going to use chain lightning now while they're up. Or crash lightning, whatever you want to call it. Berserker's rage, so I'm going to run away. Deal big damage out onto all of them. Pop my um, Astral Shift here and deal big damage to them. Put down my Healing Rain and run away. Soak these runes. Soak these runes. And now deal big damage out onto all of them and get ready for the next runes and Blood of the Father. Runes and then Blood of the Father is going to come up. 
father. So stun her. Get inside the runes and deal big damage out onto all of them. Second pot now as well. Second pot. Second pot. Get inside my healing rain. Deal big damage out. Big damage, big damage, big damage. Deal big, big damage out, big damage out. Get ready for Ancient Knowledge, which will come up any second. Get ready for Ancient Knowledge. Ancient Knowledge now, so I'm going to kill him. Put down a fresh healing rain so I can stand inside it. Get this quick heal pot. And interrupt. Get inside the healing rain. Going to deal big damage to all of them. Going to go for the gap here. Go for the gap here. Gap's there. Soak it. And I'll get ready to, obviously, it's going to be the Whirlwind, and she's going to use her Blood of the Father next. So, Whirlwind, run away. Get ready to stun all of them. Stun them now. Going to use my cooldown artifact now and deal big damage out. Big damage out on Sigrin. Just focus down Sigrin. Soak these runes. Soak these runes. Use... Ghost Wolf, go for the gap. And deal big damage out onto them. And get ready runes, soak them up. May get one pop here, so I'm just going to put down a healing rain, heal myself up. Yep, one of the rune detonates. So just watch out for that. Ancient knowledge. So i got to go for the gap. Gap's there. Now I'm going to use the orb. And I'm going to focus them all down. I'm going to use Ascendance here just so that I can break the shield. Break the shield and then interrupt. Deal big damage out onto them. Big damage, big damage. Get ready to soak the runes that will come up. Okay, charge across the battlefield so here's safe. I'm just going to focus down Yolva Brand here because if I kill him I can just chill. So I'm going to slow him. And soak these runes. Because if I kill him, I don't have to worry about him. So that's really, like, it makes the fight a ton easier. So they're charging across the battlefield. So I'm going to go for the gap. Go for the gap. Ooh, there's the gap. And I'm going to get ready as well to obviously um, stun Sigrim when she does Blood of the Father. Just going to heal myself up. Get ready for Blood of the Father. It should be soon. Blood of the Father, stun her. Heal myself up. They're all stunned. Charging across the battlefield, so I'm going to go for that gap. Gap's here. And now I'm just going to focus them down. And Yalvabran should die here. Yalvabran's dead. And now I can just focus them all down. Just focus down Sigrin. And there we go. Mage Tower's done for enhancement. It's pretty easy. You just got to make sure that you're, you know, keeping on top of all the abilities, making sure you're stunning Sigrin. Because I've done this on quite a lot of characters, I know the timings quite well. So I've done the Rep Pala one, done loads of other ones, if you want to check them out. And yeah, this one was pretty easy. Obviously with the new traits, your damage has gone up quite a lot. But you know, I'm still 925, don't, 906 weapon, Pride as 940. But yeah, you can, you can pretty much do it at most eye levels now, especially with the new traits. But yeah, that's it, and see you in the next videos.